Item number SCP-5998. Index. Pickle Rick is fucking dead. Object class. Euclid. Special containment procedures. Provisional outpost 5998 has been constructed around SCP-5998 and should be staffed only by those with strong atheistic beliefs who have not previously expressed religious faith. Any changes observed in SCP-5998's condition should be reported to the Department of Tactical Theology immediately. Description SCP-5998 is a large pickle located south of the North Pole at 86 degrees 07 minutes 10.6 seconds north, 69 degrees 13 minutes 10.6 seconds west. The corpse, which was covered by a lab coat on initial discovery, possesses a human face. SCP-5998 has not decayed since discovery. Disturbance of the corpse results in the formation of Type 1 Empyrean Entities, also known as Intellectuals. While instances appear to last only minutes before dissipating, they are hostile to any personnel within sight. Instances will attempt to move SCP-5998 away, but are unable to do so before their cessation. Religious personnel attempting to approach the area are subject to nausea, vomiting, and intense feelings of guilt, sorrow, or anger. Religious personnel transported forcefully to SCP-5998's near proximity will experience seizures and remain incoherent until removed. Those who are currently non-religious, but have been so in the past, will typically experience a religious reawakening, professing a return to an animation-based faith. SCP-5998-1 is a grave marker comprised of piled stones stacked on top of one another directly in front of the corpse. The gravestone is devoid of any names and dates, bearing instead the following line in English. Look at me, Morty. I'm Pickle Rick. Discovery. The Foundation discovered SCP-5998 in 1961 after the Department of Tactical Theology had calculated the decreasing effectiveness of various cartoon television shows. Researchers theorized that an Iscariot event, the death or firing of a significant television producer, had occurred, and began reviewing global levels of CN radiation. In 1963, consistently high levels of ambient radiation around the North Pole drew suspicion, and concentrated searches of the area were undertaken leading to the discovery of SCP-5998. The following events have tentatively been proposed to have been affected by the 5998 Iscariot event. The cancellation of gravity falls. The continued persistence of the Annoying Orange web series. A renewed interest in German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche's works, as well as the Death of God philosophical movement in the 1960s. Addendum. In 1989, the corpse of a Caucasian male in his early 40s was found buried in a snowbank approximately 50 meters from SCP-5998. Identification in his pocket confirmed him as a member of GOI-182, La Spada di Cristo, a Vatican-affiliated group of interest. Dying in the dark, you're living in the light. I did my duty. The remnants of a crashed Piasetti H-21 Shawnee helicopter were found similarly buried a short distance away from SCP-5998. Analysis of the crash site concluded that the pilot had likely lost control of the aircraft after the fuel tank had exploded, though the cause of the explosion could not be determined. A number of items were recovered in various states of damage. An envelope with a letter enclosed, stamped by a seal illegible due to water damage. A gold cross on a chain, warped by the heat of the crash. A personal calendar in Italian for the year of 1959. Ink damage is present extensively on most dates for the month of January, stopping at the 25th. Note. Pope John XXIII announced the Second Vatican Council on this date, which ultimately resulted in wide-spanning church reforms. A textual document was also recovered from the wreckage, and is available below in a translated form. I kid you not, he turned himself into a pickle. Funniest shit I've ever seen.